Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try something here. I wanna show you how to tie a tarpon fly with feather instead of EP fiber. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, they're really pretty. Um, they fish well. Are they as durable as the ones with EP fiber? Probably not. Uh, but what the heck? You know, people didn't, people didn't always have EP fiber. People used to use, um, used to tie their tarpon flies with feathers all the time. Now these are from an American saddle. American rooster saddle. I want to be about that long. And these are right out of the center of the cape. Um, have very firm stems, which is why I selected these. Really nice firm stems. Get these back here, stand them on edge. Yep, they are on edge. Okay, we like that. And I'm going to come under here and around a couple times. Because I want these nice and stable and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little bit UV resin in here oh boy every once in a while my hand just gives out on me as something's going on in my joints it's kind of interesting when you're picking up a coffee cup and all of a sudden it just darn near lose your grip on it Ah, uh, well. So that little bit of, uh, did I call that clear cure goo? Boy, that's a blast in the past. Solar res, the latest version. It'll be something else next next month. So that's gonna hold those, uh, keep those tails from wrapping and kind of hold them up at a nice angle and they're gonna move together. And I don't know how many tarpon it's gonna take before. Um, <laughs> they're demolished, but uh, what the heck? It's just a fly, right? I hear people talk about, you know, they want their flies to be super durable, and I do too. Of course I do. That's the part of being a, a good craft craftsperson. <laughs> but I also feel like, you know, if I... I haven't ever been tarpon fishing. I've tied a lot of tarpon flies for people who have. But you know what? If I caught a tarpon on a fly, it was more than about six pounds, I'd probably be absolutely thrilled to tie in a new fly. Now maybe that's just the wrong attitude. And I guess if you're fishing baby tarpon and you're catching I've heard people catch you know 10 20 30 a day uh, yeah you don't want to be changing flies every baby tarpon you catch but if I got a hundred pounder wow it's hard to even imagine a hundred pounder. if I got a hundred pounder I'd be more than happy to sacrifice my fly to 100 one fish of 100 pounds. In fact, I may even frame the leftovers if it was falling apart. So this is a this is a real simple tarpon fly. I could put marabou on. I could put clumps of marabou on there. I could use a brush. <clears throat> I think I'm going to put two hackles on. And, and I'm looking for 
see that's a little bit long. Maybe that'll be okay. Let's put that on and see how it looks. <clears throat> I would normally put the shorter hackle on first and then the longer hackle on. But since I got it backwards, I'm going to see if I can, how I can make it look. Purple and black, good, good tarpon color. Um, put a little bit of cement in there. <clears throat> it is interesting, you will find some people who only they only tie the flies that they're going to fish. And that's that's great. That's But you know when you've been doing it for 50 over 50 years and you're getting to be my 70th birthday is coming right up. It's like, okay. I know I could probably tie a few more Adams parachutes and get all nostalgic about having fished the Metolius years ago. <clears throat> but why not tie something really different? Ooh, I haven't tied any shark flies yet or billfish flies. But I probably ought to. Tarpon, I'm told, don't want a whole lot of flash. There's probably an amount of flash that they do like. Um, I've been putting eyes on my tarp fly. Shall I put an eye on this one? Why not? Why not put an eye on this one? Some uh, people used to paint eyes on these, which in itself is kind of an art form. I'm just looking up to see if the camera's even turned on. It is, fortunately. I haven't tied any flies. This is uh, first time I've tied flies with eyes on since about last August when I was tuna fishing. Fishing for a tuna, I was going to say a tuna sandwich, but boy, you know, grilled alba, grilled albacore loins are pretty awesome. My buddy Rob Russell showed me how to really, really do those nicely. And when I say do them nicely, I mean, I just, would it be al dente? It's like barely seared, uh, no, not barely seared. Seared on the outside, but I'm having trouble getting these eyes on here. That's why I'm got plenty of time to talk. Rob came over to the cabin. We had a bunch of albacore loins. Boy, the fish were small last year. You know, eight pounds, 10 pounds. I could exaggerate and say they were 12 to 15, but they really weren't. No, I mean, not the ones we caught anyway. But Rob came over with a friend and boy, it was late, it must have been. Cause it was August and it was dark. So I don't know, might have been 11 o'clock. Maybe it was just 10, way past my bedtime. But he got the barbecue going and he got, the, oh man, he, he had albacore loins stacked up in the kitchen and the spices were flying everywhere and he threw them on the grill just for a few minutes if that and we just ate them so good rob perkin was there pretty sure rob was there yeah i'm sure he was there i think ed was there too I'm sure Ed was there. Yeah, Ed was there. We had fun. We had a great trip.
you got the two different worlds. You got the ocean out there, you know, 35 miles offshore where we're chasing after those albacore. Then you got the estuary. And the estuary was not quite as live. There were fish in the, there were salmon in the estuary, but the water was warm and they were not particularly in the mood to bite worth a darn. So our time in the ocean was well spent. I think we were, yeah, we were getting silvers and kings out in the ocean, bucktailing also, near shore. Go way out to get the albacore. Gosh, we had a good time. All right, there's our little all feather, purple and black tarpon fly. Size one out gammy. SL12, uh, have fun. If you don't tie this fly, at least enjoy the stories and tie something that is fun for you, okay? Thank you very much for joining me.